Ahoy Pixel Pirates! Today, we're diving into the powerful world of Kling AI, your go-to tool for creating stunning AI-generated videos and animations from simple images and prompts. By the end of this tutorial, you'll be a true captain of Kling AI, steering it to create animations that move with your creative vision. I'll be navigating you through Kling AI's key features and exploring how you can craft breathtaking animations with ease. I'll cover prompt engineering, the motion brush tool, and how to perfect camera movements. So let's head over to Kling and see what's what. Here's the home page, and after you've signed in, you get 66 free daily credits to use. You get to use the AI images, AI video, and the video editor is coming soon. You can view other creations under the community tab. All your creations are available to view under my assets tab here. Creating images from text. Click the AI images tab. Enter a prompt in the prompt box, more on crafting prompts to follow. You can add a reference image here. Select the output size ratio. Select number of images generated here. Creating video from text. Click the AI video tab. Select text to video. Enter a prompt in the prompt box. Select creativity over relevance with this scale here. Standard mode is for free users. Pro mode is an upgrade feature. Select 5 sec video length, 10 seconds video available on upgrading. Select the output size ratio. Select number of videos generated here. Generations cost 10 credits each. Enter any camera movements. Add negative prompts if needed here. Then click generate. Creating video from images. Click the AI video tab. Select image to video option. Upload a reference image. Enter a prompt in the prompt box to describe motion wanted, or use the motion brush to define movements. You can also add two images and have one as the start frame and the other as the end frame and let AI it generate the rest. Select creativity over relevance with this scale here. Standard mode is for free users, pro mode is an upgrade feature. Select 5 sec video length, 10 seconds video available on upgrading. Select the output size ratio. Select number of videos generated here. Generations cost 10 credits each. Camera movements are disabled when using image to video. Add negative prompts if needed here. Then click generate. Next up, prompt engineering. With Kling AI, the secret to getting jaw-dropping results lies in how you structure your prompts. So how do I write the prompt? You can write out detailed descriptions for your animation or lean on tools like ChatGPT to help craft those prompts. If you're feeling inspired by others, you can also find popular prompts from fellow creators and tweak them to fit your needs. Just copy them and edit as needed. Here's the formula for a good image to video or text to video prompt on Kling AI. I'll leave these formulas and examples in the description below so you can use or refer to them as needed. Prompt formula, text to video, subject, subject description, subject movement, plus scene, plus scene description, camera, Lighting plus style atmosphere. Example, a medieval knight on horseback, camera tilts up, epic fantasy style, 4K resolution. Be specific about what you want the AI to create. The more detailed, the better the result. Prompt formula, image to video, subject plus movement, background plus movement, plus style details. Example, a red fox running through a snowy forest, 360 degree spin, cinematic, hyper realistic. With these prompt hacks, you'll be steering Kling AI like a pro captain navigating the seas of AI filmmaking. If those explanations didn't quite click, let me break it down in a simpler way. To write a good prompt, think of it in terms of the following order. Who, what, when, where, why, and how. Who is the main subject. This can be a person, animal, plant, food, building, or any other object. Describe physical appearance, colors, personality traits. What is the subject's description. Describe the subject's actions, location, appearance, posture, emotion, and behavior. When is the time frame. Specify the time frame in which the story unfolds. Describe a specific year, a season, or a time of day. Where is the environment. Describe the setting, background, or environment of the story. Why. Motivation. Why is it there? What is it doing? Describe specific actions, activities, behaviors, emotions, expressions, how. How the scene is viewed. Provide a detailed, specific description, focusing on the following elements. Composition. Perspective. Artistic style. Color tone. Lighting and shadows. Texture and pattern. Detailed elements. By breaking down your prompt using who, what, when, where, why, and how, you create a comprehensive and vivid description. 
Each element builds upon the other, guiding AI to generate stunning visuals. Now here's a few examples just to help drum that home. Let's break down a few prompts into the who, what, when, where, why, and how segments to help show you how to structure better prompt engineering. Prompt 1. An explorer wearing a hat and expedition clothes observes animals and plants in the morning rainforest, in surrealist style with vibrant colors and a wide-angle perspective. Who? An explorer. Dressed in a hat and explorer clothes. What? Observing animals and plants. When? In the morning. Where? In the rainforest. Why? To explore and study the environment. How? In a surrealist style with vibrant colors and a wide-angle perspective. Prompt 2. A furry polar bear standing on the icy tundra at winter dusk, gazing into the distance, in an impressionist style with soft tones, in a medium shot. Who? A furry polar bear. What? Standing and gazing into the distance. When? At winter dusk. Where? On the icy tundra. Why? Reflecting or contemplating its surroundings. How? In an impressionist style with soft tones, using a medium shot. Prompt 3. A pure white lotus blossom quietly blooming on the water's surface in a summer noon pond, floating among green leaves in a watercolor style with soft colors in a close-up view. Who? A pure white lotus blossom. What? Quietly blooming. When? At summer noon. Where? On the water's surface in a pond. Why? Natural growth and beauty in nature. How? In a watercolor style with soft colors captured in a close-up view. Now let's look at the image to video conversion process. Kling AI shines in this department, and one of the standout tools here is the motion brush. Instead of leaving your animations to chance, you now get to chart their course with motion brush, giving you better control over how individual aspects of your images now move. Here's how to use the motion brush tool. Select the area of the image that you want to animate. Paint the selected area using one of six colors. Each color represents a different motion path. Draw an arrow in the direction you want the highlighted object to move, giving Kling AI a clear trajectory. You can also highlight areas you want to remain still with the motion brush. Select this here, and simply highlight the area that doesn't require movement. Let's talk about camera movements. Kling AI text to video section allows for some fantastic camera techniques. You can choose from options like move left and zoom in, move right and zoom out, or even create a 360-degree rotation around your subject. Adding camera motion to your animations can dramatically improve the cinematic feel of your final video. Though you can't tweak every detail, simply selecting your desired movement from Kling's drop-down menu makes it easy to give your video a professional touch. Remember, if you want full 360-degree rotation, add it directly to your prompt text. Some of you might run into challenges when trying to create image-to-video animations. You may notice the movement doesn't look natural, or camera motion gets ignored. No worries, I've got the solutions. For unnatural movement, make sure your prompts or motion brush directions are clear. You can even test smaller sections of the animation before committing to the full scene. For ignored camera motions, use predefined options from the camera drop-down menu or try rephrasing your text prompt to fit within Kling AI's preferences. This helps avoid errors like misunderstood movements. And don't forget, as with any AI tool, even the best captains can run into a storm. So always give Kling AI clear directions on what you want to see follow the who, what, when, where, why, and how. One final tip for creating flawless animations is using negative prompts. This allows you to tell Kling AI what you don't want to see in your video. Be cautious here. Negative prompts won't always fix everything, but they can help minimize unwanted elements. For instance, instead of typing no cars, try something like empty street. The clearer and more specific your positive description, the better Kling AI will perform. If you found value here, be sure to like this video and share it to your socials and hoist that subscribe flag to join the crew of Pixel Pirates and access more tutorials on free AI tools. Thanks for sticking around, Pixel Pirates. With these techniques, you're ready to navigate the world of AI filmmaking and AI content creation using Kling AI's video generator. Until next time, stay creative and stay safe out there. And thanks for watching.